Obviously, I wouldn't normally speak ahead of match day minus one, but um, there's been a couple of statements that have, have come out of our camp, and I think it was important to come and speak publicly about that um, so that the players uh, don't need to deal with that moving forward. Um, I think I'm dealing with a very young squad, very young squad, and we're in a sport where emotions often run high. Um, I think... Raheem, in his post last night, explained that for a very brief moment, uh, his emotions ran over. Um, and it would be correct to say that's not the same for Joe. Um, and these things happen in football. Then what you have to find is a way for the group to move forward. Um, that needed some time, uh, needed emotions across the board to calm down. Um, we have some excellent senior players who uh, have played a part in uh, bringing everybody together. Um, and you need as a manager to see that the group are prepared to work together moving forward, that everybody's comfortable with that, that everybody is in the right place. Um, my priority is always the care and well-being of all of my players. All of my players. Um, and then you have a decision to make as to whether um, there needs to be something further, which is the right thing for the group moving forward, uh, which was my reason for uh, uh, not selecting Raheem for the game on Thursday. Um, in regards to whether that should have been made public or not, in the end, when you've made a decision like that, it's going to be public on Wednesday or Thursday anyway, and I'd have to deal with it then. I'd rather deal with it now so that we can all focus on the game, decisions being made, um, and as a group, we're moving forward and concentrating on the football. OK, we'll now throw it open to the floor for five minutes or so. In the interest of fairness, can we limit to one question per person? And we'll start with Carver. Uh, Gareth, first of all, can you tell us um, exactly what happened yesterday? Uh, and did you send Raheem Sterling home and then change your mind? Uh, and also, Joe Gomez appeared to have a scratch on his face today. Uh, was that caused by Raheem? So, several questions there. Um, I think <laughs> the reality is that um, I'm not prepared to go into detail. Um, I think um, there is enough conjecture and opinion and uh, 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 talk out there. We don't need to add to that. We've dealt with this as a group. These things happen. Um, and we, as a group, we've decided the best way forward, and we're in agreement on that, and we and we move forward from there. That's a BBC there. Um, how did Raheem react when he told him that he'd been dropped? Again, I think um, we are a team who I understand our public profile, and there is incredible, insatiable interest in everything that goes on in our camp. Beyond anything, I think, which exists in, in any sporting organisation. Um, that's something we have to deal with. That's something we all have to be aware of. Um, and that's the reality of why things become public that in a club often wouldn't. Um, but the detail is not for me to take further. You know, I've said what I think needs to be said publicly. Um, but we have to keep as much as we can between ourselves. Gareth, there's been a lot of speculation today about whether or not this is the right decision or not because he's England's best player. First of all, if you could just address that. And secondly, the um, rumours that uh, um, Jordan Henderson got involved in terms of mediation between Joe Gomez and Raheem Sterling. I think it's important to always um, be as fair as possible on any decision-making that I make, whether that's a senior player or a junior player. Um, Quite a number of our senior players um, have been active in discussions over the last, well, certainly during yesterday. I think that's an important process because I, I want to get a, a feel for where the group are and how we can move forward together. But then I'm the manager and I have certain decisions that are my responsibility and that I was prepared to take. I think I've answered that, that there are several senior players who... Um, I think have been very mature, as the group have been very mature in dealing with a difficult situation. Hi, Gareth. Is he in? Is he still in the leadership group that you have? And 
does this count against him being captain again in the future? I think, John, that the, the um, decision has been made not to consider Raheem for the game on Thursday. That's the end of the matter for me. Um, we, we then have to move forward, and that's why it was important to me, if it was possible to keep the group together, was the most important thing. Um, as emotions calmed yesterday, that was clearly a possibility, and everybody worked that through. I'm very impressed with the players, the way they, they worked that through collectively. And um, as I say, uh, then I had to, I had to make the some difficult calls on that, but um, that's that's done and uh, end of discussion on it. Gareth, can you, can you um, I mean, were there all the players on board with it? And, and can you break down why it's effectively a one game ban? And, you know, would, would, would you see that as harsh, bearing in mind, I don't know, something like James Madison happened last time, going to the casino, he wasn't, wasn't punished. How, how do you weigh up that punishment? It would seem harsh, bearing in mind, Surely incidents like these happen on a fairly regular basis, don't they? Uh, it's not for me to discuss the details of the incident, so um, I, th I think there's nothing to be gained from any further um, discussion on that. Uh, in the end, I always have to find the right solution for the group and for how we will work moving forward. And that's a very difficult line. You try to be fair at all times when I'm dealing with all of the players. Um, I won't always get that right, but in the end, I'm the manager. And I've made a decision, and um, I think it was appropriate for how we want to work moving forward. Um, and for me, it was important that, of course, um, is a very important player for us, um, but I felt it was the right thing. Gareth, I understand the, the, the difficulties of explaining the details, but it is unprecedented in, in our memories of, of a player being dropped. And just on Crossy's point, this sliding scale of punishment, are we going back to the days where England players had a code of conduct, where there was a sort of a, a rule book as to what you... as to what? Uh, I mean, how, how is this going to play out in the future, I guess, is what I'm asking. I think in the way it has this time, that... Um I consult very closely with all of the players and in particular my senior players and they have a very good understanding of the way that we've worked over the last couple of years that's brought us a lot of togetherness which is still there um, and that um, we're, we're a united group um, and now we have to turn our focus which we have done from the end, uh, from last night onto the football. We've got a hugely important qualifier to qualify for a European Championship uh, on Thursday night. Again, that's why I'm speaking now on this because for me, um, it, it, we're drawing a line under it and uh, we're moving forward as a team. Okay. How, how disappointed are you personally with Raheem for this having happened? It's the last thing you needed, really. I, I love all of my players. Um, we're like a family and all families have disagreements and the most important thing for any family is that you communicate through those disagreements and you work through them um, so I don't expect um, as a manager to never have to deal with things that, uh, that are either unexpected or are difficult um, that's part and parcel of the job and that's part and parcel of working with elite players so um, uh, we, uh, as I say, uh, our focus is now to move forward. Gareth, have Raheem and Joe spoken today? Have you sat them down together to talk this through? Have they? Have you made sure that they have had a conversation that this is put behind them? Uh, it was crucial to me that everybody in the group is comfortable and is speaking and is is ready to move forward with football, and and that was absolutely clear. So. Um, that's why everybody is still in the camp. That's why everybody is part of the squad. Um, and that's why we're working together towards beating Montenegro on Thursday. So have they had a conversation today? Well, they've, I'm assuming I haven't been with them uh, for, for every minute of the, of the day, but there's all, all of the players are talking and communicating, absolutely. So you yeah, haven't sat them down to me. Okay. Apologies, sorry to get around, George. We're going to have to end it there.
I have discussions with all of my staff. I have discussions with the leadership group, absolutely. Um, but ultimately, I'm the manager, and I make a decision. And um, in my view, the group are moving forward. Now, there seems to be all sorts of uh, uh, information being passed from so many different areas. This is a consequence of the England football team at the moment, and that is a very difficult situation and one that is something we have to think about moving forward because um, team getting out, information getting out, there seems to be so many voices in the background. So that's something I have to accept and have to deal with. Um, every player has had an opportunity to speak to me if they want to. Um, and um, my view is that the group were ready to move forward. Okay,